Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome back to Pokemon Silver. This is going to be part 33, and a couple of other parts which I'm going to cut up later. <laughs> but this is also chapter 7 of my adventure through the Johto region. Right now we are in Ecrotic City, the city in the central north of Johto. And last time we explored the west of it, Olifine City, the sea leading towards the World Islands, and then Seenwood City. Both of the gyms taken care of over there. But now we are going to head east and continue our little tour around Johto. Eventually leading back towards the route between Cherry Grove City and Newbark Town as you can see. Route 46, the place we've already been to. Let's go take a look at what we need to actually accomplish today. And tomorrow probably. <laughs> First up, Route 42 as you can see. There's actually a mini dungeon in there, Mount Mortar. But we are mostly interested in the next town, Mahogany Town. That is where the seventh gym of this game is going to be. And I bit my tongue trying to say that. <laughs> okay, good start. Oh, speaking of starting. Let's go. <laughs> the next route in the game, Route 42. Let's head into East Johto for the first time in this game. Mount Mortar is like a maze. Be careful. Don't get lost in there. Uh, for right now we're just passing through, so don't worry. <laughs> Route 42. Acritic City to Mahogany Town. And there's an item on the ground here. Ultra Ball, thank you! <laughs> Looks like we're going to find these things for the first time. And what are you? Mount Mortar. Waterfall Cave inside. Well, currently we don't really have anything to do in there, so don't mind me if I... This is the kind of cave where I actually need flesh, it looks like. <laughs> Complete darkness. I still don't have flesh on my Pokémon. Didn't need it quite yet, so... <laughs> Hidden machine number five. And I don't think I have to think very long on who's going to learn it. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I was expecting that. Andros is not the only one who can learn it in my team. Which move should he forget? Um, yeah, tackle. That way he will only have uh, electric type moves to damage. So not per se a very big fan of that. But I do have other Pokémon in case I actually need to take on a ground or rock type. <laughs> there we go. And there was light. <laughs> uh, this area actually has a couple of items we can pick up. But most of all, it is here for the waterfall cave. And that is something we actually cannot work with yet. So this area we're going to pass through for now. But do keep it on the map. Eventually we're going to catch some Pokemon in here. But first we need to learn the ability to climb waterfalls. Something we cannot do quite yet. Back at the entrance. Now let's head right. Uh, don't want to go up there yet. Let's just go over here. Oh, uh, this is interesting. Might as well keep this battle in. As you can see, Wild Machop actually appear here. So in case you did not actually um, trade for the Machop like I did a pretty long time ago. <laughs> you can also catch them in the wild in this game, as you can see. And this is the first point where they will uh, actually start appearing. Right, that taken care of. Let's go see if we can actually find ourselves an exit or a couple of items. <laughs> um, over here. Yeah, indeed, that was our way through. Trainer time. <laughs> hey, this is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Okay, I will. After beating you, then I'm gone. <laughs> Okay, Maniac. Nidorina. That's a rare sight in this game. In Pokemon Red, we were bombarded by these things. And the rest of its evolution line. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the first time we see them here. We caught a Nidoran female a while ago. But uh, after that, we did not see that quite yet on trainers. 
Second one, Nidorino. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. <laughs> Sometimes the Pokemon that these trainers use are a little bit too predictable. Yeah, you have good luck uh, trying to hit me while I'm up there. <laughs> and bam! You and your level 16 don't stand a chance. And that was the first trainer of Route 42. Let's check left first. Yeah, there's a Fisher standing here. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokémon I caught. Well, if you're battling me, I'm pretty sure you're battling the wrong guy to actually try to demonstrate power. <laughs> Unless all of your Pokémon are suddenly level 40 or something. I doubt you're able to actually show me power. Level 18. I'm not going to even pretend this is a challenge. And it was only one Pokémon, so indeed... Not a challenge. <laughs> Time to move on. Nothing in the grass here, so that we can ignore. <laughs> ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I always love being outside myself as well. <laughs> I do a lot of walking with Pikmin Bloom. <laughs> a Diglett! Ah, oh, how nice. Makes me homesick for Dirk. <laughs> Still don't have uh, Diglett slash Duxury on myself. And trust me, we won't for a while. Next one, Geodude. That one we do have. For quite a long time already. <laughs> it evolved already, but still. And that's one of the earliest Pokémon we find in this game. While Diglett being one of the final ones you find in the game. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually able to take that hit. 15 levels lower. And the not very effective move was still able to be survived. Interesting. And your third one. Also a grind type. Yeah, Duck Trio. And that is going to be a level up for Ferdinand. Not a doubt. It's an evolved Pokemon, so... They usually drop a little bit more XP than a basic Pokémon. <laughs> but you might have noticed that already. The level doesn't really matter per se, but if it's evolved, you generally get a little bit more experience. Level 30 for Ferdinand. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of the route. Yeah, because we've arrived at the next town. Mahogany Town. Welcome to the home of the ninja. Interesting. Ninjas. Sir? Are you off to see the Gyarados rampage at the lake? Oh, there's Gyarados at the lake? It's up there, probably. Hmm. While visiting Mahogany Town, try a rage candy bar. A what? <laughs> What the hell is this? Welcome, how may I help you? I'd like to buy... Um, oh, um, they're selling slowpoke tails here. That is not a good sign. <laughs> Remember slowpoke tails? Back in Azalea town. That is not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what is happening here? Huh? Hi, Sunny Boy. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage candy bar. Oh, right now it can be yours for just 300 Pokemon dollars. Want one? Well, you guys are pretty uh, persistent, so... <laughs> Might as well buy one. But it seems we're also not allowed to continue over there. So let's go check over here. You see that the gym is blocked off. <laughs> Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym. Leader, Price. 
The teacher of winter's harshness. Ice type trainer then. <laughs> but currently not accessible it looks like. There's once again a dude in the way. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out the lake of rage right now. Hmm, second time the lake actually gets hinted. Raging Gyarados were also uh, mentioned. Remember, a really long time ago, we actually also talked to someone in one of the earlier towns who also mentioned the Lake of Rage. Um, it was in Aquatic City, so not per se really long time ago, but still. <laughs> the Lake of Rage was mentioned before. It sounds really interesting. But it also seems something is up there. Because another guy over here actually talked about an experiment. How Magikarp are worthless, but Gyarados are money makers. Also mentioning Gyarados. It looks like the Lake of Rage is going to be our next destination. We kind of have to, because we're forced to go here. <laughs> the Route East is blocked off, and the gym as well. So we're heading out to Route 43, the Lake of Rage to Mahogany Town. A couple of Pokémon to catch here, and a couple of trainers to beat. I can do so much with my Pokémon. It is super fun. Yeah, I can do a lot of things with them too. I can surf on my uh, Varenegator. I can fly with my uh, Fero. <laughs> Stuff like that. Sentru. <laughs> That's new. Not per se new Pokémon, but for this game it is. <laughs> Iron Tail. You're not going to like my Steel-type move, Mr. Ground-type. There you go. <laughs> What more do you have? Sand Slash. Evolved form. Still ground type. Still iron tail. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, luckily I didn't get poisoned. Let's use tackle, that should be enough. Yeah. Last one, Zubat. Don't really have anything against the flying type or poison type, so Iron Tail should be sufficient. Yeah, pretty predictable. Eve is confused. But still able to attack and also able to hit. <laughs> yeah, Iron Tail does miss often, but. Um, Luckily, not always. I'm getting pretty lucky so far with Iron Tail, in all honesty. <laughs> Even though I did miss one during this match. But it was the only one. Alright. What are you? There's a house here. Trainer tips. All Pokémon have pros and cons, depending on their types. If the types differ, a higher level Pokémon may lose in battle. Learn which types are strong and weak against your Pokémon's type. <laughs> if you don't know that by now... <laughs> uh, but anyway, like I said, there's a house here. And, uh... Uh-oh. Hold it right there, mister! The toll is 1,000 Pokémon dollars to go through! Thank you, sir! But did you just take 1,000 dollars? <laughs> Stupid Team Rocket, what are you even doing here? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun, this area. <laughs> the item here is a Max Ether. But anyway, you don't actually have to go through the toll booth, quote unquote toll booth here. <laughs> There's also some grass here, which you can actually also cut through. But I thought I might as well uh, show off this um, part of the story, you might say. Getting introduced to the fact that Team Rocket is here. And also getting introduced to the fact that you can uh, catch Flavi here. <laughs> In case you don't have one yet. But of course not the Pokémon I'm after. Hey, do you have any rare Pokémon? Well, you just wait until um, the next chapter, then I'm going to have a few. <laughs> but right now, not per se. Lickitung is interesting. It's a Pokemon we haven't seen in a while. Iron Tail. Miss. <laughs> I was just saying how I'm uh, getting lucky so far with Iron Tail. The move that's actually known for missing a lot. 
<laughs> the first time I use it, bam, miss. <laughs> It's not something I have to fear. Quick attack should be enough. Yeah. 516. Right, let's cut through the grass some more. Finding some more trainers. In the meantime, hope the new Pokemon appears. <laughs> Are you going to the Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. No, apparently the stories about the Lake of Rage actually attracted more people. Including this picnicker, Tiffany. Who sends out Cliff Fairy. Next normal type. Well, I'm still a normal type myself. Iron Tail. Now that I think about it, I actually need to start working on um, evolving Eve at some point. I don't have any evolution stones, of course, that work on Eevee. The fire, leaf and water stone we have not seen yet in this game. But I could actually go for one of the other evolutions of Eevee, but for that I actually need to work on its happiness. And that's something I've been neglecting a bit so far. <laughs> Perhaps later. Alright, next chance. Pidgeotto appear here. Of course, not something I'm after, but uh, in case you're interested, Pidgeotto also appear in here. You're an evolved Pokémon, so you might be enough for a level up for Eve. Yeah. Not a whole lot, but it is enough. Level 31 for Eve. Yeah, not enough to evolve, of course. <laughs> Still not the new Pokemon I'm after. Oh, but there it is. Here we have Girafferic. A Pokemon we seen earlier in Union Cave. One of the trainers actually had it there. But now we can actually catch one of our own. Um, Bite. Dark type. Ouch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know Psychic types are weak against Dark type moves, but I did not expect that much damage. <laughs> but it is fine enough, it survived, so time for a Great Ball. No. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact about Girafferic actually. If you look at its name... If you spell it backwards, it also still says Girafferic. <laughs> That's basically the word pun of the uh, name of this Pokemon. Pretty interesting. <laughs> but anyway, we've caught Girafferic. You can spell it any way you want. It'll stay the same. <laughs> we have Girafferic, the long neck Pokemon. Its tail, which also contains a small brain, may bite on its own if it notices an alluring smell. Okay, it's not just the name that you can turn around. The Pokemon itself you can also turn around. It basically has two heads. <laughs> the tail is not a tail, it's a head. <laughs> okay, you're a girl, I see. So, say hello to Gina. Another psychic type, which you could use if you're interested. I'm not. My uh, psychic type is going to appear a bit later. <laughs> so I'm not going to use Girafferic. Let's continue. It seems this was the only Pokemon we need to find here on 43. Let's get out of the grass quickly. <laughs> Don't really feel like more random encounters. I feel like battling trainers. Would you get this? Some Megan guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it. My Pokemon's great. You can basically wear a sign that says Megan was here. <laughs> Looks like we're still not rid of that guy. Oh, did he make fun of a Nido King? What the hell? How dare you, Megan? <laughs> Fairy, take care of this guy. So I can also make fun of the Nido King. <laughs> You're a ground type, so Surf is going to hurt you quite a bit. Down it goes. 
I can kinda understand why Mega made fun of you. You're pretty weak. 